With the summer transfer window steadily approaching, there is always time for Arsenal to improve their squad. With a lot of signings expected in the summer, today we're going to look at Usman Demonde, who is probably the best defender Arsenal could buy in the summer. And this is why he will be the perfect player for Arsenal Football Club. Let's get into it. Now, it may be weird for me to do a transfer video now, but I like to sprinkle these around the year. I think these are players that I think would be really good for Arsenal. It's obviously not the end of the world if Arsenal don't get any of these players, but I think they'd be really good options for their club. Now, today it's about Usman Demonde. He's a centre-back 20 years old and plays for sport in Lisbon in Portugal. Now first of all I know what people are going to say we don't need a centre back but I think for depth wise it could be very important to get one in because Ben White and Tommy Asu seem to be more favourable as fullback positions and I don't think they've been tried in centre back too much. And we have Kivior who can play in that left centre back role but when Saliba got injured last year we didn't really have many options I still don't think we do now. We could play Ben White there but that makes the right side considerable weaker. But Demonde for 20 years old could definitely be a great player and I don't think he'd demand a start for a very many years because he's still a very young player and could sit on the bench and learn his way into the team. Now Diamonde from play to play is a ball to play in defender, exactly what Arsenal want, exactly what Arsenal need. Arsenal love ball playing defenders back there who can pass the ball. Often very good under pressure and is very good at playing out of trouble and turning defences to attack quickly. He's very good if people are pressing him to be able to get the ball out to someone, which is very interesting because he's actually a very physical player as well. He's a big guy, he's six foot three, very physical, he's got great vision and speed. He's in proper athlete and can really break down people and run to the ball. This is while also having a brilliant dribbling and brilliant technical ability to be able to pass the ball out. And often I think this might be the mix that Arsenal needs. A very physical player but very good on the ball as well. A bit like William Saliba is right now. Now put into perspective that he plays for a team like Sport and who are doing very many passes and having the ball a lot which is very familiar with Arsenal. Right per game he's making around 90 passes per game and having around a 90% pass completion which is a very high amount. He's not just making loads of passes he's also making them towards the front of the pitch and progressing the team up the pitch as well he's made 6.3 progressive passes per 90 and also making around two progressive carries this means he's picking the ball from deep and running through defenders and midfielders on the other team to get the ball up to the attackers he's also making really exciting passes that get the ball in between the midfield and the defense often this could be very good for someone like Martin Odegaard and not make him come deeper and this could be a great option if Saliba is willingly not there through injury or whatever he is doing and him being very calm on the pitch on the ball I think will be very important for Arsenal the fact he has about one take on per night which is still very high for defenders and he's raking around a one progressive pass as received this means he isn't afraid to actually break them lines and go through the midfield as well and I really respect that I think that's a really good option if he sees nothing on he doesn't mind making a run or making a pass or even making the person do the pass even at his young age he's got very many good leadership skills and he could do very great work back there for Arsenal he is also one of the closest closest players in European football to Saliba you're going to get. He doesn't make a lot of aerial duels and even though I get Saliba has improved a lot from that, that's not really his role. He isn't supposed to win headers, that's more Gabriel's job. Now Diamonde isn't really a head and beast, he's more of a physical player, prefers the ball onto the ground and even then he's doing around two tackles per night which is a very impressive rate and considering he's doing all them ball playing defender abilities as well, being a proper good modern day defender. And he often has so much pace, the same as Saliba, often when the ball is played over Saliba Saliba or through for another player. Saliba is very good at running back and timeless tackle. Now Diamonde is a bit more physical than that. He likes to fill it up the attacker and try and make sure that, that he can get the ball in without just doing a random slide tackle. Now Saliba is very good at them slide tackles and not many people can time brilliant side tackles like that and it is also a risk but with how good Saliba is it isn't really a risk for him. Monde is very good also at when the ball's played over him and Sport and have a high defensive line. Very good at being the first player to get back and physically win the ball back not doing anything silly. He has a very very good pace but he also has a very powerful stride and is very good at jockeying players making sure that they make something happen rather than going in too committed sometimes he can wait and be a bit more patient waiting for the ball or the attacker to make a mistake rather than necessarily forcing it and he's definitely had a lot more defensive structure at Sporting than he probably would get at Arsenal he plays in a five back for Sporting majority and is in the middle of the defender so he's the main person trying to win the ball back and now they're all very good defenders he works with Charisma and Insacio two highly rated defenders in Portugal as well. Diamonde is usually the main man for them because of his pace he can stay in the middle in a back three and when Arsenal have possession they like being in a back three to attack. I think this could be very important that Diamonde is used to this sort of role that he will be after to play mostly at Arsenal and when he's in the centre he clearly can do a good job with his pace and recovery. Now usually you would want your quickest defender in the middle of the back three. This is because they're going to have to recover with places over the top and they're a bit more exposed compared to the left centre back and right centre back who do also 
or have the wing backs to come back and help them. If someone gets through their midfield or your double pivot in defensive midfield, then the middle centre back has to recover and work well to get the ball back. And Diamande's pace and quick thinking have made him really good in this role. I think this is why Saliba is majority in that middle for Arsenal. But because Arsenal have so much pressure and so much intensity and always have the ball, Arteta has been switching it up. So Gabriel's actually been moving into the centre to cater for Kivio. However, I still think the main idea next season is probably to have Ben White back and right back and Timber and left back. You're probably going to see Timber move into midfield so that back three in a pressing or trying to attack system is probably going to be Ben White on the right, Saliba and then Gabriel. I think Diamonde would work perfect in this middle of the park position, especially when Arsenal have the ball. He can make really good progressive passes through the midfield and also run up with the pitch of it. He obviously has to start a connection with someone like Gabriel and obviously he wouldn't be the starting centre back, especially because Saliba is so good. But at 20 years old and someone that has really got a lot of potential, we don't really want him going to any of our rivals and I think he really could be the future of the defence anyway. And something I really like about him that is something that our defenders don't really do because it's maybe a bit risky and they don't really need to but he actually pushes into space if he sees a few bit of space in front of him he doesn't mind making a run to go in there he's got brilliant balance and brilliant technical skills that actually make him very good as a player and he could easily play defensive midfield if Arsenal actually ever needed to switch it up or needed to move into another midfielder to come in if we had injuries in the middle of the park he could definitely play there I think because he's very mobile and very good at playing and because he's used to a high defensive line when he's transitioning from defense to attack it's probably not that hard for him because he's done it so much at sporting I do think he could be accustomed to these roles and not only that there's been calls by sporting fans and players that have said that at 19 and 20 he's actually become a bit of a veteran a bit of a leader in the dressing room he's very good at dictating play and very good at pushing people to go to places they need to he understands the game to a tactical level which I think helps us a lot or anyone that signs him while also having that technical ability and that physical ability make him such a unique player I genuinely don't think you're going to see many centre backs like this guy come around in the next five to ten years and that's why I believe Arsenal should really make a move for this guy it might cost a lot of money might cost more than 50 million I think around the 40 to 50 million you could probably get him for there's going to be other teams interested and I'm not sure if Arteta would completely be guaranteed to want to get him because we know he likes getting the players that fit his system and now I do think Diamonde does but I'm not sure about Diamonde's ability to play right back or on the right consistently and I do think maybe he wants that from a centre back because that's what he thought he was getting with Kivior but didn't he's only can play centre back and can't really invert into that left back position but look this video is just to let you guys know about really good players out there and if we do sign him who he is or if he goes to any other club this guy is a real potential probably one of the best centre back potentials in the world right now and I think he should be a consideration at least for Arsenal if they are going to strengthen them positions or at least give us more depth depends on who we spend in other areas and how much money we've got now thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments if you like any of my other videos i would recommend going to watch my video earlier in the day where i talk about in depth why arsenal lost and how they can be poor in the second leg i appreciate all your views as always and i will see you in the next one